Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. And we are so glad to do it this morning. We hope everyone have their ears on, and we hope that if you are not eating breakfast, that you already have ate breakfast and ready to start another wonderful, wonderful day uh, this morning that the Lord has blessed us all with we that are on this side of heaven. This is... Uh, March the 25th, 2021, Thursday. And again, Brother Oscar is so delighted to be coming on, and we hope that you all have your ears on, that you're listening to our program today, a day that the Lord has blessed us all with. It was the psalmist who said in Psalm 118, verse 24, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to rejoice. And I am going to be glad in this wonderful, wonderful day that the Lord has blessed us with. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. It's just like what, uh, when we just, uh, just sung. God's grace, God's grace and mercy brought us through. And it was God's grace and mercy allow all of us to have another wonderful, wonderful day. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise Him, praise Him. Amen, amen, amen. I don't know about you, but I'm going to praise the Lord this morning, my friends. Thanking Him for waking me up. Giving me another day. And to think about it, you know, the Lord did not have to do it. But He did it because of the love He has for us. And I'm going to return that love, my friends, by raising the name of Jesus up as high, as high, as high as I can raise Him. What about you? Amen. And uh, a amen. Thank you. Thank you, Sean Hill. Thank you. Thank you for that thought, Sean Hill. We appreciate that uh, very much. And we talk later. Amen. And a amen. I would love to welcome all of our new listeners to the program. If this be your first time listening to us here on Chatting from the Word, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back now and listen to us again. And if you love what you're listening to, tell your friends about us. That's on Facebook, LinkedIn, and every other networks that you're coming on. Let them know that you just listened to Brother Oscar on Chatting from the Word, and you enjoyed the uh, program. Amen. And, uh, amen. Let me calm down a little bit. (laughs) Getting a little hyper here. Let Brother Oscar calm down. Just calm down a little bit here. And that's all right with you. <laughs> all right. Uh, do you love what we do here, my friends? Have you been inspired? Have you been uplifted? And have you learned how to love the Lord from an intimate perspective since you've been listening to your brother here? On chatting from the word. And if that be the case. If that be the case. Help us to keep this fine program on the air. 
You all know my financial woes, and you know Brother Oscar been struggling here and there. But the Lord has blessed us to keep this fine program on the air so far. But what the Lord do recognize, he recognizes it takes monies to do plenty of things, a lot of things. So if you can, if you can, uh, send us a donation or a contribution to keep this fine program on the air. If you can, and any amount would do. We're not asking for a whole lot, but if you're going to send a whole lot, <laughs> that's fine as well, too. So... We do have a account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal web page, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Um, amen and amen. We here in Dayton, Ohio, we are doing great. And we hope that uh, Daytonians, you have your ears on because it is time for your weather report. <laughs> amen, amen. Bill <laughs> Oscar loves that. All right, all right, for the weather report for the Dayton, Ohio area. The weather people says it's 50, 47 degrees, sunny. 100% chance of precipitation today. Now, it's going to be sunny, but it's going to, it may rain today. So, y'all be careful out there when that rain do come. And then it says humidity is 90%. Dew point is 44 degrees. Pressure is 30 inches HG. UV index is low zero. Visibility is 10 miles. Winds at 5 miles per hour. Light from the east. Sunrise is at 7.32 a.m. And sunset at 7.45. 54 p.m. And you know, it, you know if, it, if it's ugly outside, you know what Brother Oscar believes. It doesn't matter because it, 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 we, we need the sunshine and we need the rain and we need the snow, we need the cold, we need all that. The change of the weather, we need that and God knows that. And life gets like that. It, it, life is filled with sunshine, filled with rain, filled with down times and filled with up times. But you know what, my friends, regardless what's going on on the outside, you know what Brother Oscar believes. Regardless what's going on, if the sun is shining or not, Brother Oscar is going to have a sunny day because he has the Son of God. Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Yes. And, and, and if you're listening to us too, I know you have them too. I know you have them too. I know you love the Lord as well. Amen. Amen. And Dayton, that has been your weather report from us here at Chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now it's time for our summary. Of course, you heard our first song. As always, it is God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And this is our prayer time. Our prayer time uh, would be, of course, the young, young, the young men, the uh, young brothers, Radiance a cappella, sweet hour of prayer. And the scripture that we want to use for our prayer time would be, excuse me, Psalms. 23, Psalms 23, and the song before the message and after prayer time would be the late Johnny Wilder Jr. saved, saved, he says nothing like being saved, and that's the late Johnny Wilder 
uh, Jr. And then the message, doubtful disputation, doubtful disputation. And we're still on, on, on Romans 14, and, and today we're going to connect a lot of things today. So if you're interested in knowing what Brilowska is going to chat about when it comes to that topic and what we're going to connect to, keep your ears on. Keep your ears on till you hear the message. The message is designed for all of us, including myself, to grow and to know God from an intimate standpoint. Amen. And a, a, a man.
Amen, amen, and amen. That was Radiance Acapella, Sweet Hour of Prayer. And of course, this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for, here on Chatting from the Word, you know what to do. Just email it to my email uh, address, which is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com or you can put it on our page that is dedicated to the program on Facebook which is Chatting from the Word hosted by Brother Oscar or you can put it on any page that you are listening to the program on at the bottom of the page is a place for you put your comments and if you desire to put your prayer request there You're welcome to do that, or you can put it on your LinkedIn page, or Facebook page, and Messenger, or whatever you can use to get your prayer request to us here on Chatting uh, from the Word. And if you have a prayer request that you do not want Brother Oscar or anybody else to know the details of, if you uh, don't want no one to know the specifics, All you need to do is simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And we'd be happy to do uh, just that. Uh, We have one prayer request. And as you can remember, several days ago we was asking uh, for prayer for uh, Pastor John. His, His father was sick. And now his father has passed. I was talking with him through Lincoln in on yesterday, and he said, "He said, brother, just, just keep me in prayer, brother Oscar. Just keep me in prayer. We just lost him, and just keep me in prayer." And as you may know, when you lose a loved one, it's not easy to lose a loved one. Grieving and you grieve, you have memories, you have thoughts about that loved one, and so we want to keep Pastor John in. Uh, Our prayers, of course, uh, and of course the Foster family. Thomas Foster family, the minister in uh, Houston, Texas. I told you about him yesterday. He's my mentor. He's the one that really helped me to start my my ministry 50 years uh, ago. So we want to keep that family in prayer that they make the right decision. And of course, Simon Peter uh, Bamagana. Uh, we want to keep him in prayer for his work too. He says he be, they're getting in the phase of building a church, uh, and need to uh, your prayers so that they can continue to have uh, edifice to have church in, and they need some funds. And he said by five thousand. So we uh, got to keep uh, these fine people. In our prayers. Um, the scripture text that we want to use for our prayer time. Will be taken from. Psalms the 23rd division. Psalms the 23rd division. And here David. He penned these words. He said the Lord. Is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leaveth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou knowest my head with all my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. And that was Psalms. Uh, 23. Brother Oscar just thought about something. He wants you all to keep him also in prayer. I'm noticing you know, I'm getting, I'm in my mid 60s, uh, getting ready to be in my later 60s. <laughs> I guess that's the best way I can put that. 
But he started recognizing that, you know, people that he have known over the years and have have really been close with, uh, is getting on out of here and getting sick and and, and that's that's part of life. That's part of life. And I, I just pray for Brother Oscar can, that he may accept uh, that more and and get closer with the Lord and have an intimate relationship with the Lord so that when my time comes and when the bell tolls for me, that I could be ready as well. All right, all right, all right. I just had to say that. I, I, I did. But here, they recognize that the Lord is shepherd. And being our shepherd, the Lord do watch over us. And he wants the best for us. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven. Oh, Father, we thank you for being our shepherd, our Lord, our God. We thank you, Father, for loving us on a constant basis. We call, Father, thank you for watching over us day and night. We just thank you, Father, for just that blessing alone. But, Father, we thank you, not just for waking us up last night, but for watching over us last night as we slept, but waking us up this morning to another wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Father, we just thank you uh, for that so much. And, Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who who came into this world. You allowed him to come to this world to show us how to love, to show us how to live. And to die on the cross, taking our place, becoming sin for us, so that our sins may be eradicated. And Father, we come praying. Father, we come praying. We come praying for the world at this time. Father, we come praying for the pandemic. Father, we pray that we may continue on having faith in you and continue on holding closer to your hand. Because we recognize, Father, that you are totally in control. We recognize that you got your hand on the pulse of this world. And, Father, we come praying for those that have uh, have become sick and, and, and contracted the coronavirus. Father, we pray that you be with them, heal their bodies, touch their bodies. Father, help them to rise from their uh, sickness and be whole once again. And Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones to the dreadful disease or even during this time. Oh, Father, we pray that, that, that you comfort the, them that are mourning. We pray, Father, that you help them to mourn and mourn and mourn and find a release or a relief from their mourning. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that are losing loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, regardless of the reason, the winds and the wise, Father, comfort them as well. And for we pray for the police who felt as though that they needed to take a life. It's not easy to make a decision like that, but Father, we pray that you be with them as well. And Father, we come praying for the political leaders that are leading us in this in 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 this society today. Father, we pray that they get alone and love one another so that they may make laws, so that we may have peace and harmony. And Father, we come praying for the church at this time. Father, we pray that you be with us during this pandemic. Help us to remain the light of Jesus Christ. Help us to continue on showing the world you. And Father, we come praying, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. If you the listeners that have arthritis, we praying for you. If you the listeners that, that suffering with diabetes, we praying for you. If you the listener that that is suffering with heart problems, we are praying for you. Blood pressure, we are praying for you. Uh, feet and hands and body swells, we praying for you. We pray for you that's having financial situation. We're praying for you. We're offering your name up to the Lord at this time. We're praying for you. Praying for you that's having problems, problems, problems. We pray for you. Father, remove that mountains out of the, that way. Cast it into the deeper part of the sea. Oh, Father, we come praying for Pastor John. Father, the loss of his his father. Father, we pray that, that, that he can mourn and be confident. We pray for the foster family and the decision they must make. Father, we pray that they make the right decision and the decision they do make, that it benefit them in a uh, good way. So, Father, we come praying uh, for Simon Peter work that he's doing to get this building 
uh, up and going and getting your service and bringing the fold into Christ. While we pray for him that he may succeed at, at this work and that he may get the funds that is needed. Oh, Father, we, we just thank you all over the place. Father, we come praying for our program here, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep it on the air. Help us remain a light in each community that we are coming on. And Father, we pray, Father, at this time for the message. The doubtful disputations help us to see the right thing that may help someone to think about their soul condition and their relationship with you. Oh, Father, we come just praying, just praying, Father. We, we, we need you, Father, all over the place. We need you every minute, every hour of the day. We need you, Father, so be with all of us today. In Jesus' name, do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for praying along with us in that prayer. And we hope that we pray for something that is on your minds. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back. And we are so glad to be back from them uh, commercial breaks. And glad that uh, you ha- still have your ears on. We are so glad that you are listening. And as you know, you know, we share the program it with you anyway. And if we're sharing the program with you, you share the program with people as well. If you want uh, them to know uh, Christ on an intimate basis, share the program with them. If you believe that, that the gospel is worth sharing, share it. If you believe that, uh, that souls need to be saved and come to the Lord, share it. Share it. Share this program. Share the program. But Oscar recognizes other programs out there like his. And I, the way I believe. That we just don't have enough. We just don't have enough. Because you look around. The world is still sin sick. <laughs> I can say that. Sin sick. So we wouldn't need as many programs like this one that's Teaching Christ Jesus and uplifting Christ and chatting by His Word. We, we need programs like this one, okay? So, uh, when we share it with you, share it with your friends, share it with your neighbors, share it with everyone that you know on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, or whatever. Uh, share our program. And of course, we need your donations. If you can help us out financially, that would be beautiful. We do have an account on PayPal.com. Just put it up the webpage, PayPal.com, and put in any amount you want. My, of course, uh, email address is uh, lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Just put that in. And of course, as well, put in my email address again, lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, and any amount you put in will be appreciated. Amen, and thank you. I know you still have years on. You still have years on. Keep them on. Keep them on. And we hope that you like us what we like what we're doing here. And if you do like us, let us know. Let us know that you really like what Brother Oscar is doing on Chatting from the Word, that you really like what the Lord is allowing to happen with this program. So let us know how you like us, but don't just allow us to know how you like us. Follow us here on the Spreaker platform. It's a place where you can follow us and be a part of the program. So do that. And when you do that, they will notify you when we're broadcasting. And of course on YouTube. We come on YouTube and uh, live. We're on YouTube live at this time. So if you listen to uh, to us to YouTube, uh, subscribe to us. It's underneath the picture of my Bible. So just tap that red subscription button, and it will uh, pull down another menu. And on that menu, it's going to say, do you want all or some? And we hope that you like to receive all of them. And, of course, we also on Twitter. Turn to our Twitter page and enjoy the program. And I tell everybody this. You know, we, 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 we are having this program, uh, putting on this program, first of all, to, to lift up Jesus Christ. 
and secondly, for you to learn, and thirdly, for your enjoyment. I don't believe there's anything wrong with enjoying the beautifulness of Jesus Christ. I really don't. And to show you that the Christian life is a worthwhile life uh, to live. Amen. And amen. And now for our internet networks that we come on is uh, Music Download. VFC, Lay, uh, Joy Savan, Chrome Webview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, Parlorplayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, PodcastAddicts.com, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Freaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, book goes up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when we are broadcasting and when we are, you will not miss not one episode that we are broadcasting. Do that today so that you can be all set and ready to listen to us to bring you a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, program. Amen. And amen. And now it's time. The all-important time for us to play the only song that we have selected to play for this program today. Amen, amen, amen. And we hope you have years on and ready to listen to this song. It, 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 it gets to my heart because we... All loved the late Johnny Wilder Jr. And we still love him in spirit. Johnny died such so uh so long not long ago but some time ago. And he was a good friend to all. He was a good brother in Christ. He was a member of the Reston Park Church of Christ, uh, where his brother preached there for years and uh, a faithful member of the Lord and after his accident, he, he came to Christ. You know, he was the lead singer of a group called Heat Wave. And after his accident, he succumbed to the will of God and started to sing songs of praise. So, for uh, your listening pleasure, here he is, the late Johnny Wilder Jr. with Saved. About his miraculous recovery and an undying faith, here's someone who's become a very special friend of ours. Here's Johnny Wilder performing Saved. I don't know God what the 
That's no better state to be in is saved. Amen and amen. And that is the truth, my friends. No better state to be in is saved. What, what's the best state to be in? It's not Ohio. <laughs> it's, not, it's not being joyfully sad over something earthly. But the best state, the best, the best state is to be is saved. Come, you think about it. you saved. You can have the joy, all the joy in the world, and still have Jesus. And still, when it comes time to put you the golden bells, you can go home and be at peace. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That is a blessing, my friends. Amen and a- amen. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back with the message. After these few messages. All right, all right, all right. It is that time for the message. It is that time for the message. And we want to apologize for the interruptions of the phone calls that we are 
uh, getting in. Uh, I want to apologize to you personally because uh, they kind of interrupt the program and I kind of interrupt your listening to the program. So we want to apologize uh, for that. If you have a copy of God's Word, we would love for you to turn with us to the book, the letter, if I uh, say the letter, the Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman Christians. And what we need to recognize that the Christians here in Rome, this church just began, and it was the church that began, of course, after Christ died. And we know after Christ died, Christ brought in, with his death, Christianity. If I can uh, use that term. Uh, Christianity. So we must, uh, look, when we study this book, in the beginning of the, of the letter, uh, uh, of this uh, chapter 14 of the letter of Rome, Romans, that Paul wrote to the Roman Christians, uh, that's what we must bear in mind here. And he began by st- stating, first of all, he that's weak in the faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputation. In other words, receive the weak brother, but not because of all the lies and gossip. Don't accept him because, you no, know, but not to lies. Don't accept the lies. And many of us, as we just stated in uh, Tuesday and when we first get this lesson, many of us, we like to gossip and that things, some things a lot of us, uh, we need to change is to stop talking about our brothers and sisters. And if they're weak in the faith, what we need to do is be some help to them if we can. Don't go around gossiping. But just talk with our brothers and sisters. Have a relationship. And I think that's one thing that's missing in the church today is having a relationship with one another. Sometimes, the only time we may see each other is on Sundays or Wednesday nights. And and, and seeing somebody twice a week is a relationship do not make, all right? If you really want to get to know a brother or a sister, have a relationship with them. Get to know them. Talk with them. Love them. Be their best confidant. Be their friend. And, and be they brothers and sisters. And that's what Christ calls us to do in the church today. Is to be brothers and sisters. Which I believe. And if anybody else has something else in mind. Which I believe is missing in the church today. And the question stands. If we don't have love are we the church? <laughs> you got to wonder about that. If we don't have love for one another or care for one another. Are we the church? It's when we, when we, a long time we, we talk to somebody, it's on Sundays or Wednesday night or, or when they may have death in the family or sickness. We need to get to know our brothers and sisters in Christ, my friends. We really need to get to know them. And that's one reason why uh, I, 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 I uh, like Facebook and LinkedIn. It's some negative in it, but there's also some positive things in it, too. You get a chance to at least see the, uh, your brother and sister's thoughts when they put it down on Facebook. And, of course, you can listen to me, <laughs> Daddy from the Word, on Facebook and link it in. But here, in verse 2, Paul says these words. He says, For one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs or vegetables. Eateth just vegetables. He don't eat meat. He eats just vegetables. And the reason why this is occurring, one must recognize that the Roman church was still taking in new converts to the faith. They didn't recognize that eating meat was right. Uh, it doesn't matter. So they still were stuck in the uh, Mosaic age where uh, the law says 
not to eat certain kind of meats. Or uh, going back to the dietary law about eating meats. And so this is where this argument comes in at. Okay? But Paul, he says this about the brother. He says, don't, don't judge him, in other words. Because what we got to recognize, he's coming from a his belief of something that he truly believed. Something he truly was into, believing that this was the right way. Did not recognize that when Christ died on the cross, he did away with the uh, Mosaic law. And this is where we want to come from this morning. We want to come from the uh, uh, the, the Mosaic law and and. And why it was taken away. Okay. So turn with me to the Colossians. Uh, if you have a, a copy of God's word. Turn with me to Col- Colossians. And that's where we're going to start from this morning. Colossians. The, 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 the second uh, chapter. You can hear my pages turn. <laughs> we want to go to Colossians 2. And verse 11. And uh, we want to study that for a little while. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this. Of studying Colossians 2. Because we want to start with verse 11 to 23. And first of all we want to see why Apostle Paul says the weak brethren. And he ain't saying the weak brethren to, to, to say he's bad and that like that. But, but because he did not recognize the reason why Christ died on the cross. And many of us today do not know the reason, the whole reason why Christ died on the cross. Okay? And and I just want to use this time just to teach. Is that all right with me? Although here we we uh, we just don't teach, we just don't preach, but we chat about God's word. But in the chat, we do teach. <laughs> okay? But what we want you all to recognize, and I'm handling this with a fine tooth comb, because, brother, Oscar recognized that you still have many people in believing that the old law should be here today, as Moses stated in the Old Testament. And here, in Colossians 2, Paul uh, brings up some final points. And I want you to grab your Bible. Get your Bible. If you don't have your Bible, get it. Because I, don't, I want you to see what Paul is talking about here. Here. Okay? So get your Bible. Uh, get a copy of God's Word. If you, you know, if you have it on your phone or whatever. But here, let's start reading from Colossians 2, beginning with verse 11. Just stick with me here for a little while. Because Paul is trying to make a... He's trying to do something here. (laughs) He's trying to let us recognize something here, okay? In verse 11, in Colossians 2, Paul says, In whom also ye are circumcised... With the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Now, what brother Oscar get out there? The circumcision. He's not talking about the flesh, the circumcision, but he's talking about the circumcision of putting off. Are uh, cutting off the body of sin. That, and it, that's the circumcision in Christ. Is cutting off. And that's where I want to use. Because that's where we are probably most familiar with. When it comes to circumcision. Is a cutting off of the foreskin. Okay. So here uh, Paul uses circumcision. And saying we are is the cutting off of the body of sins. 
and all that is pertaining to the body of sins. And then in verse 12 he said, We are buried, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who had raised him from the dead. Now, now, it, it's a final point here too that most people may disagree with, okay? And I can say I'm handling it with this with a fine tooth comb because I don't want to get no one upset with Brother Oscar. But what we try and do is to teach God's word and to chat about it. But here, Paul said, we are buried with him in baptism, where also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God. First of all, it's the operation of God. Being baptized, being baptized, being buried in baptism, which is buried in water, is an operation of God. And this is the, 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 the operation of of cutting off, part of cutting off the sins of the flesh, uh, circumcision, okay? Because Paul said it here, buried with him in baptism, where, and also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead. So when you rise, and Paul said that in Romans 6, the rise to live in a new life. You are a new person. He also said in Second Corinthians 9, you are a new person in Jesus Christ. You put off the old man and you put on the new man. Okay? And in verse 13 he says, in verse 13 he says, and I want to read this clearly with Brother Oscar. I, Brother Oscar did I want to put nothing in your minds. Uh, for you said, well, Brother Oscar said this and said that. We are reading this together. That's why I said, get your Bibles. And then he said in verse 13, And you, being dead in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, had he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. So with the operation of God, you read, we read that, through baptism, through buried in baptism, we are, you, as a, you are being dead in your sins, and the circumcision of your flesh, the uncircumcision, of your flesh, he had quickened together with him, being buried in baptism, with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Isn't that beautiful? Through the operation of God, through being buried in baptism, through cutting off of the flesh. And this is part of it. He has forgiven you. He has forgiven you all trespasses. Are you seeing what Bill Oscar is seeing? Uh, don't put nothing else in this. Don't put your words in this. Just listen to what Paul is saying here. Please listen to him. As he blotting out blotting out, listen closely now, blot out, blotting out the, blotting out the handwriting ordinances. Now, I believe this is making connection with chapter 13, because in chapter 13, we're talking about the laws and and all this is, Paul tells us, keep the ordinances of man. And also, when we keep his ordinances, it's not, you know, we find it easy to keep man's ordinances. In other words, here is the word ordinances again. And here Paul is saying, blotting 
out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Now, this is Paul talking, okay? Blotting out, let me read it again, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. What is he talking about? <laughs> and, and most of you might put anything in that place. What is the, What is blotting out the handwriting of ordinances? And the only thing we can think about that was handwritten was the commandments that Moses received on Mount Sinai. Moses received the law from God on Mount Sinai, the commandments that was temporary and only was for the Jewish time, a Jewish people, to receive the law and for them to live by. All right? So he said, blot it out. He blocked that out. The handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Remember what he says now. That was against us. Those laws was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. So everything that that was before Christ's death, and and thing they was keeping, he must the uh, the holy days, the days and the Sabbath and all that, that was taken away. That was taken away. Okay, all that was taken away were taken away by what Christ did on the cross, nailing it to his cross. And having, uh, listen up to verse 15. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Oh man, isn't that something beautiful? Although Christ died on the cross, and, and they thought they had him on the cross when he closed his eyes and died. But the beautiful part about it on that third day of his on the third day of, of his crucifixion, he rose early Sunday morning, and he showed death had no sting over him, grave could not hold him, and man could not <laughs> say anything negative about it. They tried. They tried. Why? Well, the apostles, they, they, he got out of here and he not really rose. And, but he rose triumphantly from the grave. And that's the beautiful part about it. If Christ never rose from the grave, many of us would be very negative. Many of us would not have the faith we have today if Christ never rose from the grave. If Christ never died on that cross, where would we be today? We still be under the Mosaic Law, where it says you you have to keep uh, us the Sabbath day. We said that if you did things wrong, you must be stoned. Where there was no forgiveness of sins, and this is what we got to bear in mind. If if, if Christ never died, and if the old law still stayed was alive today, the only person that was under that law was the Jewish people. And we would have to become Jewish people. <laughs> we would have to accept that law. Okay. But Christ died for all to be saved. Christ died for the black people, the white people, the green people, the orange people <laughs> to be saved. He, he died for the whole world to be, to be saved and come to the recognition of the truth in him. And what he died for and his death on the cross. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to leave you with that thought. And we're going to finish this tomorrow. This is getting good. Because, you know, to me, you know, it shows the reason why Christ came and died. And it showed the love of God. Because God knew himself that no one could keep the law as it was. He knew that. And he knew that he had to bring a change. 
And he knew the only person who could bring that change was his son, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. We're going to leave you with that thought, okay? We're going to leave you with that thought. And we hope and pray that we said something to cause you to think about your soul salvation. Just remember, here on Chatting from the Word, we just don't teach, we just don't preach, but we chat. Amen, amen. And we will be right back with the closing after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back, we're back, and this is the time we do our closing. And we hope that you enjoyed the program today. And we hope that we uplifted your day. And we hope that we put a smile on your face. And a snap in your Christian walk. Amen and amen. But we must get on out of here. Time has been for spent. Alright. So will you pray with Brother Oscar at this time. Father we thank you for this time. Father we thank you for this time that we have with all of our listeners. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to put this program on, chatting from the Word. We thank you for your Word. We thank you for what Christ did on the cross, for dying for the world, so that we all may have salvation. Oh, Father, we pray that all of our listeners have a wonderful, wonderful day. In Jesus' name, do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love Everybody, bye-bye.